Hello everybody, my name is Daniel Richardson and I'm the WCPW Review Guy and this is the show that uh, viewers across the world have referred to as a uh, as a show and uh, yes uh, this is the unofficial WCPW Top 10 and uh, I'm gonna let you guys just know right now you can probably just hit stop if you want not a whole lot of changes at all like literally uh, in fact only two people swap spots <laughs> just Spoiler alert, uh, yeah, I'm going to kill the views on this, but it's all right, because I'm going to be honest with you guys, not a whole lot changed. So I'll just kind of bre uh, breeze through these as quickly as possible until we do get to some changes, but uh, we'll start with the tag division. Uh, nothing has changed there. At number three, Slater and Moss. Two, Prince of Mean and Gabriel Kidd. And one, Prospect, which they did advance in their uh, uh, tournament, tag title tournament, the Abachini tag title tournament, sorry. I get the official name out there. Uh, so they lock in their top spot, number one. They did uh, defend against uh, Los Perspectivas, uh, which uh, I did decide. I will say, I did decide to, uh, you know, they, they're, they're officially in there. I mean, they, they, that, was a that was a match. You had you had perspect, or Prospect versus Los Perspectivas. So I did add them to the uh, tag title division, the ranks, but uh, of course they went at the bottom, so they didn't crack the top three, so. Uh, but they are on there, so they're going to be the fat Ligero of the tag division. Uh, so, yeah, so for a second week in a row, tag division remains uh, unchanged. Uh, and then uh, women's division, same thing. This is the fourth week running that we've had no changes at all. At number five, uh, Katarina Lee. Uh, four, Lil Miss Roxy. Three, Alex Windsor. Two, B Priestley. And number one, Nixon Newell. So, there you go. And uh, moving on to the top ten. Uh, for a second week in a row, Primate, number ten. For a third week in a row, at number nine, Martin Kirby. Uh, at number eight, uh, we talked about his tag match, his exploits this past week. Uh, second week in a row, at number eight, Alex Gracie. He just straight up murdered like that Echo Dell Gracie. He, he, he killed a member of Lost Perspectivas. He said that. He literally said that as he came out of the bag. I just killed that guy. So... I don't know if the authorities are investigating it or what. All right, number seven. Last week he was number six. He's dropped the spot at number seven, Rampage. Uh, at number six, went up a spot. Got himself a victory over Trent Seven this week. It's a hard, hard fought vic victory, but a uh, victory nonetheless. Johnny Moss, Johnny Moss, number six. So at number five for a second week in a row, Lucas Archer. He won that tag match. Mentioned that earlier. Uh, at number four for a second week in a row, uh, he won a match. He defeated uh, Big Damo this past week. Talking about Joe Coffey. Talking about Joe Coffey. At number three for the third week in a row, he is the WCPW Internet Champion, El Aguero. At number two, just won the main event this past week, defeating uh, Pete Dunne. It is Joe Hendry. Also for a third week in a row. And uh, at number one for a third week in a row as well, he is the WCPW champion. It is Joseph Connors. So, congratulations to Prospect. You are the uh, unofficially top tag team in WCPW. Congratulations to Nixon Newell. You are uh, unofficially, and officially because you're a champion, uh, the best woman in uh, WCPW. And uh, congratulations to Joseph Connors. Unofficially and officially, you are the number one guy in WCPW. So there you guys go. Do you guys agree with my top ten? Do you disagree? Either way, drop them down below. Let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, uh, you know, don't forget to share, subscribe this video if you haven't already. Show this video that thumb and love. And uh, yeah, Twitter WCPW Review Guy One. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and until next week. <laughs>